Brace yourselves. Winter is coming. Power outages happen. The lights flicker, maybe the Wi-Fi drops out, but then, bam, everything goes dark. But what happens when it's not just a quick blip? What happens this winter when the grid goes down and the mercury plummets? Are you ready for that? We're talking days, potentially weeks, without power. No heat, no lights, no way to cook your food or charge your phone. We're seeing these natural disasters happen more and more these days. Blizzards, ice storms, you name it. And if one of these hits during the dead of winter, it's not just an inconvenience, it could be downright dangerous. That's why we need to be prepared to have a plan in place before the first snowflake falls. I'm going to share with you nine essential things you need to prepare for a winter power outage so you're not left out in the cold. Liquid Gold Staying Hydrated in a Blackout First things first, we need to talk about water. Staying hydrated is crucial, especially when it's cold. Dehydration can sneak up on you fast. Now, you might be thinking, water, check, I've got a tap. But what happens when that tap runs dry? Stock up on emergency water supplies, enough for at least three days. It's not just about having water, it's about being able to drink it. If the power's out, forget about your electric kettle. A camping stove can be a lifesaver. You can even melt snow, just boil it thoroughly. Staying hydrated is your lifeline in a winter blackout. Fueling the fire. Keeping your belly full. We've tackled hydration. Now let's talk about keeping those energy levels up. Just like a roaring fire needs fuel to keep burning, your body needs food to stay warm and function properly. First things first, raid your pantry. Stock up on non-perishable foods that require little to no cooking. Canned goods, energy bars, nuts, dried fruit, the works. These are your survival staples. If you have a wood-burning stove or fireplace, you've got a built-in cooking source. But remember, safety first. Always have proper ventilation and a fire extinguisher on hand. If you're using a gas stove, make sure you've got plenty of fuel. And invest in a battery-powered carbon monoxide detector. Carbon monoxide is a silent killer. A little creativity can go a long way. Think trail mix, peanut butter sandwiches, or even soup heated up on your camping stove. Have enough food to last you and your family for at least three days. Power up. Keeping the essentials running. Let's face it, in this day and age, we rely on electricity for just about everything. But when the grid goes down, so do our creature comforts. That's why having a backup power source is absolutely essential. Now, I'm not talking about hooking up a diesel generator that'll light up the whole neighborhood. We're talking about keeping the essentials running, things like your refrigerator, a few lights, and maybe a radio to stay informed. There are a few different options here, depending on your budget and power needs. A portable gas power generator is a good all-rounder, capable of powering multiple appliances. Just make sure you use it safely, outdoors and away from any windows or vents. If you're looking for a more eco-friendly option, consider a solar generator. These bad boys harness the power of the sun to keep your devices juiced up. No matter which type of generator you choose, make sure you know how to operate it safely and have enough fuel on hand. A generator can be a lifesaver during a winter power outage, but only if you use it responsibly. All right, let's talk about staying warm. When the mercury drops and the wind starts howling, you need to be prepared. The key here is layers. Each layer traps air, creating insulation. Start with a base layer that wicks moisture, merino wool, or synthetic fabrics. Add an insulating layer fleece, wool, or down. Top it off with a waterproof and windproof outer layer. Don't forget your extremities. Invest in insulated gloves, warm socks, and a hat. Dress for the conditions and then dress a little warmer. When the power goes out and your furnace decides to take a vacation, you need a backup plan to keep your home from turning into an icebox. And I'm not talking about huddling under a mountain of blankets. First things first. If you have a fireplace or a wood-burning stove, now's the time to fire them up. But remember, safety first. Make sure you have proper ventilation, a fire extinguisher on hand, and never leave a fire unattended. If you don't have a fireplace, don't worry. There are plenty of other options. A kerosene heater can be a lifesaver, providing a surprising amount of heat. Just make sure you use it in a well-ventilated area and follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. Another option is a propane heater. These are relatively inexpensive and easy to use. Just make sure you have plenty of propane on hand and use the heater in a well-ventilated area. 
Now, if you're really feeling adventurous, you can always build a makeshift indoor tent. Drape blankets or tarps over furniture to create a small enclosed space. The idea is to trap your body heat and create a microclimate that's warmer than the surrounding air. Staying warm is about being resourceful and using what you have on hand. When the sun goes down and the power's still out, you're going to need a way to see in the dark. And I'm not talking about stumbling around with your phone flashlight draining precious battery life. First things first, ditch the candles. I know they create a nice ambiance, but they're also a fire hazard, especially if you're using them for an extended period. Instead, opt for safer and more reliable lighting options. LED lanterns are a great choice. They're energy efficient, long lasting, and provide plenty of light. Plus, many models come with built-in USB ports so you can charge your devices while you're at it. Headlamps are another essential piece of gear. They keep your hands free, which is crucial when you're navigating a dark house or performing tasks. Look for models with multiple brightness settings and a red light option. Red light preserves your night vision. And don't forget about the power of rechargeable batteries. Invest in a good set of rechargeable batteries and a charger that can be powered by your car or a solar panel. Being able to see in the dark is crucial for safety and sanity during a power outage. So, ditch the candles, stock up on reliable lighting options, and keep those batteries charged. Staying connected. Communication is key. In a crisis situation, communication can be a lifeline. It allows you to stay informed about the situation, connect with loved ones, and call for help if needed. But when the power's out, our usual modes of communication, phones, internet, television, can go silent. That's why it's crucial to have backup communication methods in place. A hand crank weather radio is a must-have. It allows you to receive emergency broadcasts and weather updates, even when there's no power. Look for a model with NOAA weather band access and multiple power options, hand crank, solar, and battery. Walkie-talkies are another great way to stay in touch with family members or neighbors, especially if you need to communicate over short distances. They're relatively inexpensive and easy to use. Just make sure you have extra batteries on hand. And for the truly prepared, consider investing in a ham radio. Ham radio operators can communicate over long distances, even when other forms of communication are down. It does require a license to operate, but it's a valuable skill to have in an emergency. Communication is key during a power outage. Fighting Boredom entertainment for the soul. Being stuck inside with no power can get old fast. But it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. With a little planning, you can turn a power outage into an opportunity to unplug, unwind, and reconnect with your loved ones. Gather up some low-tech entertainment options. Board games, card games, puzzles. These are all great ways to pass the time and have some fun. Plus, they don't require any batteries or electricity. Break out the books. Reading is a fantastic way to escape into another world and forget about your troubles for a while. And the power of storytelling. Gather around the fireplace or the makeshift indoor tent and share stories, jokes, or memories. You might be surprised at how much fun you can have without the distraction of screens. Embrace the opportunity to slow down, disconnect from the digital world, and reconnect with the people around you. Weathering the storm be prepared for anything. When winter unleashes its fury, you need to be prepared for anything. Snow, ice, freezing rain. These elements can make life difficult, even dangerous, especially if you're already dealing with a power outage. First things first, make sure you have the tools you need to clear snow and ice. A sturdy snow shovel is a must-have, as is a bag of ice melt or sand for traction. If you have a snowblower, make sure it's in good working order and you have plenty of fuel on hand. Protect your pipes. Frozen pipes can burst, causing extensive water damage. Keep your thermostat set to at least 55 degrees Fahrenheit, even if you're not home, and let your faucets drip slightly to prevent water from freezing in the pipes. If you have to go outside, dress warmly and in layers. Wear waterproof boots with good traction to avoid slips and falls. Be aware of your surroundings. Ice can be hidden beneath snow, and downed power lines can pose a serious hazard. Being prepared for winter weather is about more than just staying warm. It's about staying safe and minimizing the impact of the elements on your home and your family. These nine essential tips to help you survive and even thrive during a winter power outage. Remember, a little preparation can go a long way in ensuring your safety and comfort when the lights go out. 
Let's create a community of preparedness and help each other weather whatever winter throws our way. Stay warm, stay safe, and stay prepared, everyone.